Good morning everyone. Welcome to Computer Lab Space. Watch my previous videos on C programming for the basic concepts of C. Today we will learn data types. Data types tells what's the type of value that can be stored in the memory and it also determines how much memory should be allocated to a variable. And uh, we have three uh, types of data types. Primitive data type. Primitive data type can also be called as primary data type or fundamental data type or built-in data type. All these names are given for primitive data type. And this includes int, float, char, double, void. Int for integers, float for floating point numbers, char for character type of data, double, it is also a part of floating point numbers, then void. Then we have derived data types. Derived data types are derived from the fundamental data types or the primary data types. And this includes arrays, pointers and functions. Then user defined data types. As the name itself it is indicating user defined data type it is nothing but user is going to define an identifier and uh, that acts as a data type by using an existing primitive data type or the fundamental data type and that is called user defined data type and this includes structures, unions and enumerations. For uh, derived data types concepts and user defined uh, data types like arrays, pointers, functions, structures, unions, enumerations, I am going to explain uh, by taking each one of this topic in a different video. Uh, uh, it will come in a uh, next uh, in the upcoming videos and today we will learn this primitive data types. First we will learn char. So char it can allocate only one byte of uh, memory and one byte we already know it is equals to eight bits. Eight bits can be represented as zeros and ones right. For example here we have taken one simple example for the char and one more thing char it is a keyword. Char is a keyword okay. Then we have taken one simple example here. We have uh, declared a variable here var1, var2, then var3 or the variable names. Char is a keyword along with that it is a data type we are using here. And we are assigning a value for the variable 1, variable 2 and the variable 3. And here for each character constant whatever we are going to assign for a variable it is going to be stored as an integer constant in the computer memory okay for capital letter a if i consider this capital letter a as char constant and this is going to be stored as an integer constant in the computer memory and the value is 65 then for character b the next value that is 66 similar way we have for small letter a after 26 characters we are going to get with 97 the value for the small letter a is 97 and for the small letter b it is 98. For the digit 0 it, uh, the value will be 48 and for digit 1 it is 49. So this char can store the alphabet ranges from small letter a to z, capital letter a to z and also the digits from 0 to 9 here you can see and also the special symbols like at then ampersand symbol then as symbol etc can also be uh, stored in the stored as a character constant and whatever we are going to represent the character constant this should be enclosed in between a pair of single quotes so this is about char data type char data type then we have int so int it is used to store all numbers and it can allocate two bytes of memory two bytes of memory if it is a 32 bit machine if it is a 32 bit machine and it can store 4 bytes of memory if it is a 64 bit machine okay so this is what uh, with respect to the int and one more thing here it is the size of the int is totally a machine dependent that's why I told it is a 32 bit machine and a 64 bit machine and uh, int is also one of the keyword and this supports three different sizes of integer data types we can say and that we are going to study in the data type modifiers okay in this same video only 
and the int can can be a signed integer number and can also be a unsigned integer number if it is a signed we need to represent whether it is a positive uh, value or it is a negative number and if it is a unsigned if it is unsigned it by default it is going to take only the positive values here this um, this uh, one simple example we have taken here int a is equals 10 then int b comma sum here a b and sum are the three different variables and we have allocated a value for variable a as 10 and for value for uh, variable b as 60 and uh, this is going to allocate for totally how much memory is going to be allocated for this for a variable also it is going to allocate the memory space and even for b and for sum as well right so individually for a it is 2 bytes for b it is 2 bytes for some it is 2 bytes so totally 6 bytes of memory is going to be allocated since all these three variables are declared it as int data type is it clear next comes to the floating or floating point number and uh, one more thing for the int it is uh, we we need to represent a format specifier as percentage d we will learn when we uh, when we are going to study printf and scanf uh, statements okay scanf functions and for the float the format specifier it is percentage f percentage f yes then the floating point number in this the float is also a keyword okay which is used to uh, definitely define the floating point numbers and uh, compilers determines the size of the data where uh, this is going to allocate with four bytes of memory four bytes of memory and a simple example we have taken here float a b and c so floating point numbers it is nothing but uh, the number which is having a decimal point for example if I represent 2.1 or 3.4 for example even if I represent only 2 since we are going to allocate or uh, we are going to define the float data type as float a equals 2 okay and internally this is going to give us with the value 2.0 since it is defined or declared as a float data type okay is it clear so here uh, by taking a simple example i tried to explain this so float a comma b comma c here a b c are the three variables which we are declaring here under the float data type or floating uh, data type and a we have allocated with the value 7.1 and b we have allocated the value 77.89 so C is also a floating data type. So 7.1 minus 77.89, what will be the value we are going to get? And that is going to be, uh, we will get with the floating value only. Okay. So this is what regarding the floating point numbers. Then we have double, where double is also a keyword and which is used to define the long floating point numbers, long floating point numbers numbers okay and this is generally represented by percentage lf percentage lf is the format specifier we use for this and this is going to be contained for the 16 bit machine we are going to have six sorry eight bytes of memory and for 32 bit we are going to have 16 bytes of memory is going to be allocated for the double data type okay and generally this is also uh, for the for example um, I have taken one simple programming example here, double A comma B comma C and A equals 78907 point, a long floating point number we have uh, taken here, that's all. And next comes to the void, void it generally, uh, it, it is an empty data type we can say and why we are going to call this as an empty data type because uh, since no value is going to be associated with this data type and even it does not occupy any space in the memory. So that's why we are going to call this as a void. Okay, Void it is generally used to indicate that the particular function does not return any value. Okay, And the size of void and its range in all types of machine is going to be like 16 or 
even it is a 32 bit whatever it is or even it is a 64 bit uh, it is going to be represented as zero so no value is going to be considered or is taken for the void data type is it clear now one simple topic in the data type only that is uh, okay uh, let us uh, know the summary of uh, this data type i have summarized in a table so as i explained uh, in this video only the care it can store only a single character and it can allocate only one byte of memory and int it can store integer value and two byte of memory and float it can store real numbers that is floating point numbers and it can allocate four bytes of memory and double exactly double than the floating point number it can also store real numbers but it can store eight bytes of memory and void it does not store any value so this is what the summary of the primitive data types in C and we have given a range also here okay then data type modifiers there are mainly four data type modifiers and before that what do you mean by data type modifiers it is nothing but uh, your built-in data types except this void data type all the fundamental data types can be easily modified by using this data type modifier okay and for the integer for the int data type we have signed int unsigned int and short int and long int and uh, the difference between all these four uh, is uh, like for the signed int it indicates that the variable is capable of storing the negative numbers also even the positive and the negative so that's why the range is from minus to positive that is negative to positive and it can store two bytes of memory and for the unsigned int it indicates that only only the positive numbers can be stored that means the range is like here zero to see observe the change here for the signed from the negative value to positive value but for the unsigned int it can store only positive numbers that's why the range is from 0 to certain positive number that is 2 power n minus 1 0 to 2 power n minus 1 for signed it is minus 2 power n minus 1 one minute sorry yes so it is 2 power n minus 1 2 plus 2 power n minus 1 minus 1 so this is what the range we need to consider for the signed int and for the unsigned int it is 0 to okay then for the short int short int it is used to decrease the storage capacity of the variable and that means it is going to be reduced exactly half of that for example if an integer can be able to store two bytes of memory short int is exactly one byte that means exactly half of that it is going to be reduced so that is what for the short int and the range is from minus 128 to plus 127 then the long int long means exactly the double is going to be taken here it is used to increase the storage capacity of the variable so that's why if the integer can store two bytes of memory the double of that that means four bytes of memory is going to be stored in the long int and long is also a keyword even this short unsigned signed all these comes under a keywords only okay and uh, this is what the range uh, they have given for the long int then unsigned short int and unsigned long int is also there since it is unsigned we already know that only the positive numbers we need to store short int as i already explained half of that so one and short long int double than that so four bytes and similar way we have for car so car signed care and the unsigned care and uh, since it is it can store only one byte of memory and uh, the range is from minus 128 to plus 127 and unsigned care can store only 0 to 1 sorry 255 and for the double and for the long double double already we know 8 and for the long double it is 10 bytes of memory and the range is in the exponential form so this is regarding the data type and uh, today we have learned what is data type and uh, what do you mean by uh, fundamental or primitive data type then derived data type and user defined data type and we have also studied the fundamental data types right along with that we have studied a single sorry simple concept 
that is data type modifier so if you like this video do like share uh, with your friends and uh, family members and also uh, if you like this uh, video click on the thumbs up and um, press subscribe button and also click on bell icon to get the notifications thank you see you all in the next video and the next video uh, is on variables thank you